I normally don't do this. <laughs> I normally don't do this, but today my mother turned 60 years old. Let's give her a round of applause, 60 years old. And you know what? Not only does she not, well, not only does she look good for her age, but I also want to tell you this. I, 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 I felt something today and we had a great uh, conversation. And the way the stars was in line, I ended up not only speaking to my mother for a while and my stepdad for a little bit, and then I spoke with my grandmother, and then I spoke with my aunt, and then I spoke with my sister. I'm not even going to explain how that all happened, but it was like one person conference in and another one and another one. It, was, it wasn't like we was on a conference line, but that was really cool. But I'm going to tell you something that I noticed. I'm going to tell you just like I told my mom. I said, Ma, I think you, I said, Ma, you getting old. Let me tell you why I think you getting old. And this is a good old too. Mind you, this is a really good old. And if you know my mother, hit her up on her page and wish her a happy birthday. And like I said, I normally don't do these birthday shout outs here on social media, but I felt the urge. And this is a goal that I think we should all have. My sister, I think, titled it selflessness, right? So my mother showed some selflessness today because here's what happened. I called her, right? I'm calling her, singing her a happy birthday. Happy birthday, or however I sung it. I think I just sung it better than now than I did then. But I sung her my happy birthday, and we talked for a second. It was about her. But then about five minutes into the conversation, she just started asking me questions about me. What am I doing? But she's proud of me. Thank you. You're doing a great job. We be praying for you. You're doing a great job. I'm telling my friends about you. We want you to get more contracts and more clients. So she's just going into this whole thing. Why was you just in DC? Why was you in Georgia? Why are you going to be in South Carolina? Why was you here? Why was you there? So she literally... Like, if you getting a little confused that it's, I'm saying all these questions, I'm not exaggerating. She kept asking me and telling me all these good things, right? So then, I didn't realize it at the time, but it's her birthday. You know, they say, if you, it's your birthday, you can cry if you want to, cry if you want. So if she wanted to ask me questions on her birthday, then that's what she could do. But they, here's what happened real quick. So like I said, I, I was able to talk to mad people today all at the same time with my mom because as they were calling her, she would just bridge us in and we were just all together. So I told you I spoke with my mother, told you I spoke with my stepdad, I told you I spoke with my sister. So now my sister gets on the line with my niece, my youngest niece, and now... My mom, they sing happy birthday. My little niece sing happy birthday, grandma, happy birthday, right? And now the tables turn again because I'm thinking it's just me. I noticed that, you know, sometimes you think like, oh, maybe this is just me. But no, this wasn't me. She also did the same thing with my niece and my sister when they got on the phone. Like she let them sing happy birthday, but then... She started asking them questions and she started asking my sister about her, the, the other kids like Mateo and Zaria in London, right? And so she's just asking questions about them now, right? Same thing happens. My grandmother gets on the phone and she's asking like, what's going on? My aunt gets on the phone. So we just having this one thing. And I said... Well, I think I said it a little bit earlier, but like I said, I said like, yo, Ma, I know you're getting old because you sitting here on this phone, not allowing us to just bombard you for happy birthday wishes. And what you're doing is you try and hear what we got going on. Like she went down the list to everybody. Everybody she spoke to, she asked a lot of questions. I was like, man, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Because, you know, typically we have birthdays, we have birthday parties, and we want it, you know, naturally for it to be about us. Like, yo, it's my birthday. 
But how cool is that to have children, your sibling, your husband, your grandchildren, and your mother on the phone wishing you a happy birthday? Just that, just the atmosphere of that idea of those people on the phone talking together for your birthday. So she took her opportunity to, to hear what we had to say, to hear what each of us were doing. And I just wanted to point that out. Like I said, I don't do that pretty much for anybody. I don't even put out birthday posts. I'm not that type of person. But, you know, shout out to my mother for her 60th birthday. Uh, enjoy. Continue to do great things. And um, like I said, the, the word my sister Tosh uh, labeled it, the experience today, was just a, a piece of selflessness. And I believe that that's something that we can all learn from, right? Um, and, you know, your time is your time. But just look up the word. Maybe you never heard the word selflessness before. Like, look it up and strive towards it, right? This your boy, Billionaire Brown. You can check me out on my YouTube channel, dot com forward slash Billionaire Brown online. And um, I'm about to get back. I'm about to get back to work. Yeah, about to get back to work. All right, y'all. Peace.